for you. That's that's cool, man. Uh, the producers, bro. Who you been working with? I've been working with Fig. I've been working with Fig. He, uh, yo, shout out to Fig. Um, I've been working with um, just a homie from school that he has his own setup. So yeah. we just been working every day. I'm actually about to go there later. Yeah. Go all the way to Sanford and record. And then I've been working with my brother-in-law, April. Fam, straight cool. Yeah, I just, seen I seen a couple of tracks you had on SoundCloud at April. I was wondering who that was, man. He's the one that came up with the beats and everything, bro. Yeah, that's that's man, Steven. Nasty, bro. Oh, yeah, bro, nasty, dog. <laughs> yeah, bro, nasty. Like, Steven, man. You guys in the laboratory cooking up. I like that, bro. bro I like what I that. love about being home is is the fact that I can be home and just feel homey. Like I don't gotta be yeah. like let's say I'm in the studio and there's people there. Like yeah, you gotta keep a composure. But at the same time, when there's no one there and you in your house, it's like you was home. Yeah, you're you know, right. I mean, you feel like you're at home. You don't got to worry about that outside feeling like you're saying, man. I know exactly how you feel because, you know, my people got a, a, a stool on 14th right there, man. And, you know, every time I go back through over there, you know, it's just like we at home. You know, he gets to work, comes home, gets to his beats. You know, he produces, he writes, all that. Yeah. So that's cool, man. You have a, um, any type of future of doing producing too, or you just want to stick straight to like music? To be honest, I never mentioned it. I ain't never even said nothing about it, man. But my heart is is in music, not only rapping. Of course, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I love just just hearing the beat, making it click with something else, making it go together, and that's music. You know yeah. what I mean? I love jam sessions. If I can do, my main goal is to get nice with the sax. Okay, yeah, you, nice so you play instruments, sax. huh? I want to play instruments. Oh, I want to get nice with the sax because I want to have a whole jam session and, you know, get music going. Not yeah. only, yeah, I'll probably, in the future, I'll probably just release, like, jam sessions. Yeah. And I'll probably release a little little snippets of here of, like, what I'm rapping, but I, my whole career, I want it to be just, like, he understood music and made music. Oh, you know what I mean? versatile you can't just stop for one thing bro that's exactly. good because you do look at any type of um artists that were once you know popping for like example like neo neo you know his story you know he's bro he's done it all you know and people don't give him a lot of acknowledgement to what he's done he's a songwriter he wrote multiple songs with multiple people and he's low-key you know he's yeah. dead behind the, the the lenses but at the same time you know like you said it's like you put respect to certain people's names like you hear neo on the beat you know it's gonna happen you know yeah. especially so, you know, to keep that mindset of where you at, man, it's going to bring you, bro, it's going to take you far, man. Networking is crazy because, you know, there's going to be people who need beats. There's going to be people with musicians, rap. That's cool, man. What got, like, what, what inspired you with the music? Like, what brought you to the music? Were you always into music growing up, man? Like, I think I just got into music just because, like, I had so much alone time. Yeah. You know, man, so much alone time from just, uh, I would, you know, find my own place to be. Like, let's say I had something going on at home, whatever. I'll, like, I'll go here, mm-hmm. and I'll just put on my earphones. I'll go and sit over there by myself, just catch a vibe. Of course. You know what I mean? And then I would just be like, yo, there's something in my head that I want to say. I might as well say it on the beat, yeah. you know, make the beat feel what I'm hearing, you know, what I'm feeling. So I just went like that, and there was one day where I was at my house, and I was like, I was like, yo, Steven, let's do something. I want to record something, and that's Fan. And fan, the first song I ever released, Fan, was about my ex, and I was feeling some type of way. Well, and I, I was just, gonna ask you about that too. Yeah, bro, and it was a freestyle. Caught what? Well, yo, y'all gotta check freestyle. that out. Man. So let them know again the track name and everything. We, it, we made it like in a what like two hours we recorded it bomb like mastered it bomb and then released it and that's how i wanted to be because when i when i freestyle if i mess up then i redo it but if it comes out clean i'm not really worrying about like how my how, how i'm coming about it is because i know that that's how i'm feeling yeah. like how I, like the tone of my voice and other people like oh maybe you should do it like this and like nah this is how I'm feeling. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so definitely. everything's raw with me. Mm-hmm. Like if I if I feel like if I say it, maybe it comes a little bit off, but that's just how I'm feeling. Of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want I want you to feel how I'm feeling. Yeah, and I could definitely. I was gonna ask you about that too, cause you know a couple of your tracks, man. I was listening to them, and it felt like it had like a like a meaning towards them, like something behind it. You know, more of so you know probably something that you've been through in your past. No, yeah. That's like really where you get you know. Your uh, your vibes from for yeah, your raps and everything, yeah. man. And that that's when you will hear me like, you'll hear me grunt. You hear me yeah. like, you hear me scream like on the beat, like how I mean this, like truth on my truth tape is called Truth Freestyle, and it's it's out already, but the whole tape hasn't dropped. 
but um, when it does drop, that shit gonna be fire. It's, it's all about just my summer and how my how crazy my summer was. Yeah. Losing my car, you know, you know, just seeing everybody's true colors. And right now, I'm just glad to start this new year because it's like we starting with new people, new, yeah, new, new everything. New vibe, bro. New vibe, bro. Yep. Um, that truth tape, bro. You got a like a date for that come out? There's Thanks. already one song that's already out. Yeah. That's called the True Freestyle. Freestyle. And that's, I want that one to be there for a while because if enough people listen to it and you listen and keep on listening to it, you're going to catch what's coming up. Because mm-hmm. there's little pieces and parts of in that song where you can you can hear me talk about things that I'm not really going too deep in, but I punchline and they'll be in the song and they'll be in the tape. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's cool, man. That's cool. That connects one another to a track, you know, you listen to it. That's what, it, like, albums really should be, you know? It's crazy because you got EPs and you got mixtapes. Mixtapes are majority of the time just mm. like, all right, yeah. you know, dropped it. Boom, 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 boom. Stop. And then the albums, you know, it's really supposed to be like, all right, I'm about to put a masterpiece together. Exactly. You know, sweet, take my time with it. You know, it's like, exactly. you got a lot of cats that drop albums out that sound like mixtapes. So I want to I wanna <laughs> hear an album now that sounds like 808 and Heartbreaks from Kanye, bro. You know, that it, structure, that whole vibe he was bringing with 808 and Heartbreaks. Dude, his, his production skills are crazy, bro. Kanye, you heard um that song 80 Degrees by him? Yeah. <sighs> Bro. 30 hours? Have you heard 30 hours? Nah, that was just a freestyle, man. 30 hours. But... Yeah, yeah, Kanye, bro, and that's that's the that's the all type of people too, man. Kanye, shout out to Kanye, man, cause yeah. you know regardless of what's going on with him right now, you know he he can never you can never take his credibility away to it. You know, high school, college dropout, bro, college dropout, one of my favorite. You know, majority of people, you know, everybody knows that, but I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That's one of my first times like actually like engaging with Kanye West's album. Like I was more yeah. of a I heard his singles like from Jesus Walk to even on um, Can't Tell Me Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Can't Tell Me Nothing. That's my favorite song. So actually. many meanings towards it. And that type of music will forever live, you know, because it had a meaning towards it. You know it has a meaning. Saying? It has something that's not only just right now, but it's something that will forever be, you know what I mean? So it, it's it's, like, it makes you break it down. That's like something that you're, like, you're trying to bring onto your tape, right? Exactly. Yeah, bro. Exactly that's, that's cool, bro. And when it comes to this new vibe that I'm trying to bring out with this tape about the, the like, that, that summer funky, like that, how would you call it, um, like, chill, West Coast feel? Yeah. I'm trying to get, like, I feel like now we're, not that rap is being negative, but I feel like a lot of rap that I've been hearing around around here is it's not really focused on what life is, more like what we're doing in life that's bringing us down. You yeah. Know I mean? Like, we're talking about, we're talking about drugs, we're talking about, you know, girls, and that's all a part of life, Jewelry. but that's not all life. Oh, it's not materialistic, bro. Materialistic things, and... You know, it's it's just it just keeps on going, keeps on going. You know, a lot of people think, oh, okay, you know, this music that's out right now, you know, it's pop and this and that. If you look at it, bro, majority of the stuff is the same. You know, it's the same, and it's it's, it's killing not just the vibe of rap, but it's killing the culture. You culture. know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you think about it, the culture of rap where it began, you know, it's obviously started in New York. But if you really go and break stuff down to what rap really was from back in the days, it was one to confuse the outsiders to what people are saying in their music you know they would have certain codes in their rap so people would understand from the streets gotcha. and the outsiders would understand you know but now it's opposite people are just talking everything that yeah i'm on this street selling this shooting this you know it's like total opposite yeah. you know what i mean it's like you know it is good that you got you got your mind there where you're at right now saying you know i want to bring something out that's gonna one you know educate and two it's gonna vibe bro it's, it's gonna vibe wherever it plays bro i could be in the car driving Bro, I was I was in the car driving. <laughs> I'm over here looking stupid on the road dancing. Like I, I need that. I need yeah. something that's gonna bring my spirit up. You yeah. Know what I mean? yeah. You know, there's there's a time to get lit. There's a time to get where I feel like you don't always need to be putting stuff in your ear that doesn't really you know educate you. Because at times, bro, you don't know it, but it's like when you in a certain vibe and you listen to to, to garbage that that like hits harder than you just. And you just seeing it and doing it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's that's implemented, and you're going to do it off a of subconscious, and it just goes off bad after that. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, it really do. You listen to something that's, you know, 